Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the basement because I'm playing with a server project and it's not going very well so I was really tired of that so I thought we would come down here and look at this battery. I got this uh, Ryobi battery from my friend Jim who um, well it's not working anymore and Jim is the dude that together with a youtuber Troy Reads and the do-it-yourself project well they got me into these Ryobi tools which I kind of enjoy they're kind of cheap tools but they're nowhere near as cheap as the tools that I was using before so this is an improvement for me and Jim had broken this battery and I have checked it when you put it in the charger it will try and charge it and it will fail it will say that the battery is bad so I thought we should take this apart and see if we could figure this out I'm hoping for a bad cell or a cell that is so much out of balance that the whole battery just says eh eh won't do it so but let's start by taking it apart okay so right out of the box I count probably five screws on this and these are security torques like a torque with a little um, thinky in it and it's a number 10 so let's uh, try and free this oh, that's weird they've done here but I'll look into that hmm seems that the good people at Ryobi really don't want us to, to tinkle with this because well it's it's not open there it's open over here and we can we can already see the cells in there but we need to get into that so I'm gonna see if I can drill it out and talking about cheap tools this is one of the cheap tools that I had so if we can drill into this okay there is probably a screw down there just have to dig it out they have put plastic on top of that there we are okay hmm bastards okay cool so far so good what we got we have probably there are six cells here it's probably also a cell up here no they have left this cell out I've seen that before that there can be a cell up there as well so this is it it's five cells like that and there is some electronics here if that's bad the battery is probably um, ready to be thrown out I'm hoping that one of the batteries are bad okay after hard negotiations with my good old trusty fluke multimeter here whether it could have the day off or not well it um, it now want to play with me for just a little bit so let's uh, check these cells this one is kind of low kind of very low let's go to the next one that one is also low that one is low it might just be that this battery has been sitting for so long it wasn't charged when it was put away yeah so probably I just need to put a little bit of power on it and it will be all good again anything this low under one volt is most likely trash but let's um, let's put a bit of power into it uh, I'm just gonna 
power on my power supply up here. that on and we're gonna set it to four volts and we just want let's just say one amp ah that might be a bit too much half an amp there and I'll try and manually put a little bit of power into this Plus, minus. It's uh, it's taking the half amp, and the voltage is it's three volts, just about three volts. Let's go to the next one. There, there. Plus, minus, plus, minus. So I'm just gonna skip one and come back to it. And let's do this. I might want to see the multi. Right now it says 4 volts, as soon as I put the battery on, you can see that it drops and then it slowly pops up. It's a 2 volt, now it's more like 3 volts. And from 3 volts it takes a lot more charging to get up to, to about 4.2 volts. Now I have set it to 4 volts, so it's never going to go up that high uh, with doing this. So let's go to the last one, make sure that, yes, plus minus, let's see that again. It drops down under a vault, comes up, now we're at about 3 volts again. Yes, so let's switch around and take the other cells. This one was really low too. Yeah, starts under, way under a volt. We're up to two volts now. And we'll take the last one over here. This one has some foam on it. Yeah, that's holding the, the temperature sensor in place. So I'm gonna go in under that, connect with the metal, and charge that a little bit. Three volts, just under three volts. So I'll shock them a little bit. I'll give them each a one amp shock. There is one amp. So minus. We will we will do them over. Minus plus. Have to do this right, otherwise it will damage the batteries even more. Charging with one amp, jumping over one, charging that one with one amp, yes, and the last one. They had lost a little bit of power already, so we're going to go back and take the other two, yes, and the last one in here. I will try and put this back together and put it up in the charger and see if we can get the two charts in the normal way again. I don't think I need to put in all the screws for this to charge, so let's go see. So here we have my little charging station, and right now it's uh, charging this 1.4 amp hour Ryobi lithium ion battery, and this one was an 1.3 amp hour there. So this is what we're looking for. It's uh, powered on, the red LED, and it's blinking over here. And that tells us here that it's charging and the battery is half full. Um, ish, probably more or less close to. Before it was doing this one, both of the LEDs blinking, which means a bad battery. 
So let's, let's put this in and hope for the best. Yeah, it did not do that before. Okay, so um, we'll get back to this when uh, hopefully it goes there. That would be good. Okay, it has been charging for a while. It's not done yet, but I really wanted to test this out and see if it's doing anything. So I brought out the big test. This is my Ryobi angle grinder and it really likes a big battery. So we can just, we could just try this 1.4 amp hour first. Connect that. That works. So let's try and pop this in. The one that we are messing with. Um, I haven't put in the screws yet, so I have to be careful with it, but let's pop it in. See if it will run the anchor grinder. It will. I'm not gonna drain it too much because um, I want this to become a good battery again. Cool. Oh, I do enjoy it when something works and I was able to restore this battery into working condition. It might not be as good as when it was new. It might also fail again. Maybe the BMS inside of this battery is bad and it's draining the battery slowly. But, well, right now it's working again. That is really awesome. These batteries are quite expensive. I think I would have to pay around at least 300 Danish kronos for this, which is just about 50 US dollars for those of you who calculate in that kind of money. It worked! Please give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you're a regular subscriber and enjoys watching my videos from time to time, please hit that bell thing because that seems to be important too. Hit the bell things. And I'm told that I have to call it the bell thingy. So hit the bell thingy. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.